Alright, so this is my update video on the missing tackle box that I found down near Willow Beach, Colorado River. Uh, and I said in the comments on the video where I showed the tackle box that if no one claimed it within a week, I would give it away to someone on YouTube. And I decided I'm not going to do that. I just couldn't in good conscience use someone else's misfortune for my own benefit, which is essentially what I would have been doing. Hey, let's give this tackle box away as a way to uh, get a video with a lot of views or gain subscribers, blah, blah, blah. So I decided what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep the tackle box. Um, it's been two weeks. I really thought by now that someone would claim it because I, you know, I, I put it on Instagram, I put it on YouTube, I even joined uh, a fishing group, a Las Vegas fishing group with several, it seemed like a couple hundred members, members uh, posted it up. I know people saw it and nobody claimed it from there. I sent a message to another fishing group that's from an area close by. No responses there. Um, so I'm just going to keep it and... I'll probably use the stuff that's in it to be honest with you but at least then I'm not gonna feel bad about using someone else's lost stuff to to benefit myself by making a video and trying to gain subscribers or views and if for some reason somewhere down the road someone does pop up and say oh hey you found my stuff well I still have it and I can give it back to them even if I've used it assuming I don't break it or lose it uh, but anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up and show you what's in it. It's quite a bit of stuff, so this might take a couple minutes, surprisingly. I mean, it's just an ammo can. How much stuff could be in there? Well, like I said, there's probably $150 worth of stuff in here. So let's open it up and I'll show you what's in it. So, there's my list I wrote down. But anyways, the first thing that was in there was this cord, uh, probably 50 foot of cord. Nice extra long stringer. Uh, I think it's a 15 foot stringer. We've got some bandages, you know, just in case you get injured while you're fishing. We've got a nice can of Copper Tone Kids 50 SPF sunscreen. You know, you don't want to get sunburned. It gets hot out here in Vegas. Uh, we have a worm blower. So this is what you, if you're fishing with a night crawler, uh, I know trout uh, like to have them inflated. They'll eat them. We've got a headlamp, okay, this is this works. I think the batteries are starting to get a little bit low, but it works. Oh, it did work, now it's dead. Well, daggum, oh, there it goes, wait, wait, wait for it, whoop. Yeah, I think the batteries just need to be replaced, but it's totally, it was working. I think the batteries are just dead. We have a little container of PC Marine epoxy putty. You might use that on your canoe or kayak. So I'm thinking whoever lost this was in a canoe or a kayak. Um, we have fish grabber, fully functional, Bass Pro. I mean, looks like it's hardly been used. I don't know what kind of fisherman the guy was who had it. Um, we have a lighter. It works. We have some Berkeley Vanish, 17 pound test. It looks like there's probably enough line on here to uh, to spool a bait caster with. I gotta be honest. So I'd say there's a spool's worth of Berkeley Vanish 17 pound test on here. The sticker's bad, but anyways, there's that. We've got a Rapala fillet knife. Still pretty sharp in the case. Not a speck of rust on this thing. So you can tell that this tackle box or this ammo can was very well sealed off. We have a pair of needle nose. They're a little, little stiff, but you could cut your line or fish out a hook if you needed to. Here's a pair of these. Now these, I think, were probably rusted when the guy put them in there. Honestly, I'm probably just gonna pitch these, to be totally honest with you. Um, I won't worry too much about whether or not the guy who owns them even wants them back. 
if he wants another pair of pliers, I'll be happy to give him another pair of pliers if I pitch those and the guy who owns it says something. Oh, hey, you got my stuff. We have, I'm going to go through all this other stuff because there's actually a fair amount of terminal tackle in here too. I'll go through that individually. Hey, you want to be in the video too? We have a working digital Rapala 50 pound digital scale. It works. We have uh, another small can of 50 SPF copper tone sunscreen. We have some lantern mantles. It makes me think that this guy might have been camping too, so he might not have been in the boat at all. I don't know. Who knows? We have some Neosporin, because again, if you get injured, you don't want an infection. We have a bite indicator. You just clamp that onto your rod. There's actually a couple of those in there. Uh, we have, here's a sharpener for your Rapala fillet knife. We have, now we're getting down to the terminal tackle. That's really all that's left in here. So here we go. We've got some KVD Mustad double wide drop shot size one aught red hooks. Hey son, I'm trying to make a what video. They're hooks. Okay, so I'm, I'm being serious though, so let's, let's be serious here. We have a two ounce pyramid sinker. We have some steel egg sinkers. Line goes right through the middle. We've got another package of those one ounce steel egg sinkers. Another package of those one ounce steel egg sinkers. Another package of those one ounce steel egg sinkers. Another package of those one ounce steel egg sinkers. Another package of the one ounce steel egg sinkers. Another package of those one ounce steel egg sinkers. We have some barrel swivels. Fairly large size. We have some egg sinkers, and these are three quarter ounce. ZJ, I like your Legos. We have another bag of three quarter ounce egg sinkers. We have some bank sinkers. These are two ounce with uh, swivels attached. We have some Gamakatsu one octopus circle hooks. There's two of those in there. We have some pre-rigged line and some of those, uh, there's a Gamagatsu circle hook and a KVD uh, drop shot hooks on there. Uh, those are on there. We have some more, he yep, say hello. We have a four pack of two ounce pyramid sinkers. We've got another package of barrel, or barrel, yeah, barrel swivels. How many's in there? What is there? Uh... Hey, ZJ, knock it off. I don't know. There's seven or eight of those in there, I think. Um, here's uh, just miscellaneous. This is obviously been cut off. Barrel swivel and sinker. We've got an underspin. Underspin? Yeah. Uh, and we have another weight. Here's one of the drop shot hooks that he's... That he had pre-rigged, it looks like he just, it came off of the styrofoam. Here's another one of those egg sinkers just floating around. And then finally, last but not least, we have, I believe this is a Storm Wild Eye Trout. It's uh, five, four inches long, I guess. Yeah, that's in there. So that's everything... But that no, was in no touch hook yeah don't touch the hooks it'll it'll poke you be careful anyways that's everything that was in this ammo can with the exception of a couple pieces of trash in here ever Shh. hey you're messing up my video son acting goofy and then he's he had lined whoever this could have been a female too they had lined the bottom of it with a piece of cardboard so that it wasn't jingling around and they're making a ton of noise so i'm gonna leave that in there anyways um all right, go in there and watch America's Funnest videos while I finish my video. Um, anyway, so this is everything that's in here. Um, yeah, I mean, I hope that uh, somebody says, hey, that's my stuff. You know, meet me somewhere and give it back to me. Um, if not, I'm just going to keep it. Like I said, I don't want to... 
I don't want to use someone else's misfortune for my own personal gain. I'm already, I mean, I found it. Like, I get to keep it, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, so that's what's in it. Um, that's everything. So, the idea of keeping it and somebody being able to tell me what was in it is kind of gone. So, really going on the honor system here if somebody claims it as their own, you know. Um, otherwise, I get to keep all this stuff. So, uh, thanks for watching. If you watched it, and if you did watch it, like the video, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to do a review video next on a real a Fluger baitcaster that I've had for a little while now. And after that, hopefully I can get some video fishing, catching some fish. Um, and then I'll probably do another review video on a Bass Pro Shops rod that I just recently purchased. Um, I want to I want to get it out a little bit more a few more times and use it before I'm able to give my opinion. But anyways, that's what was in the mystery missing long lost tackle box that I found on Willow Beach. So yeah, hopefully the owner's out there. Hopefully he lets me know and they can have it back. If not, I'm going to enjoy all this stuff. I'm not going to give it away. Thanks.